Hey, it's Nebulous57 here, and I'm kicking off my first video with a little talk about ice ages. There are three types of evidence for ice ages. The first of these three is geological. When looking for geological evidence, you must input such things like rock scouring, scratching, valley cutting, and the deposition of till. This can be very hard, especially because excessive glaciation tends to disort and erase the geological evidence. The next of these types is chemical. The chemical evidence relies heavily on various ratios of isotopes in fossil present in sediment and sedimentary rocks in ocean sediment cores. Because water containing heavier isotopes has a higher heat of evaporation, its proportion decreases with colder conditions. This allows a temperature record to be constructed. However, this evidence cannot be confounded by the factors recorded by isotope ratios. The third and final type of evidence is paleontological. The paleontological evidence consists of change in the geographical distribution of fossils. During a glacial period, cold adapted organisms spread into lower latitudes and organisms that prefer warmer conditions become extinct or squeezed into lower latitudes. This evidence is also difficult to interpret because it requires, one, sequences of sediment covering a long period of time over a wide range of latitudes and which are easy correlated, two, ancient organisms which survive for several million years without change and who, whose temperature preferences are easy, easily diagnosed, and three, the finding of relevant fossils which requires a lot of luck. What causes the ice ages? Pause this video on the simple graph and understand.